That's the famous Tonight Show band under Doc Severinsen and a trombone solo going to Bruce Paulson, who has just come off stage during intermission, and uh, he's appearing at the Luxford in Minneapolis, Minnesota, just off the Nicollet Mall, along with the Petersons. Bruce Paulson, welcome and happy holidays to you. Thanks, Lay. It's always good to be back and always good to talk to you. Well, it's a pleasure to touch base with you also, and it gives me an opportunity to try to satisfy my curiosity about the status of the um, Tonight Show band. I've been reading about it, and I know others have. Let's talk with uh, someone who's directly connected with it, trombonist Bruce Paulson. Well, the news is that on May 22nd, Johnny Carson does his last show, and uh, the band will do the last show with him, and then we are officially retired. Branford Marsalis is going to lead a new band for Jay Leno, and that's an exciting prospect, uh, but it'll be a smaller group. We were told it's a nine-piece band, but Branford's an excellent uh, musician. We're all very pleased that uh, he got the nod because he's a fine artist, and uh, it kind of carries that tradition. We're proud of that band, and we're, we're glad that another jazz uh, band will take our place. So I think everybody feels... You know, we hate to see it end, but we, we feel pretty good about the, the replacement. Are there possibilities of tours and, uh, and uh, Doc, uh, taking this entire group uh, on occasional one-night stands? Well, he sure talks about it. He's been putting the word out, and I think he's got uh, agencies working on that. Uh, it all depends on the people out in the country, whether they're going to come across and hire us or not. The band is, I'm sure, ready to go out on tour. That's kind of a question of uh, who gives us a call. But I'm sure Doc wants to, and there has been some talk of it. So I think it's in the, It's certainly a possibility. Well, we certainly have three great venues for that, <laughs> or starting with the Ordway in St. Paul, Minnesota, to Orchestra Hall on the Mall, not too far away from you, and uh, also uh, Northrop Auditorium. Well, let's hope somebody here in town... Uh, gives us a call. In the meantime, I'm having a great time down here at the Luxford. This is a new jazz club in town. I wanted to just say that, uh, make sure everybody knows about this place because it's a beautiful new room and uh, wonderful acoustics and we're having a great time. And this is my future to try to get out and play with the small groups. And so uh, I'm really looking forward to coming back here. This has been a wonderful four days for me. Well, you make this annual trek, and it's always good to hear you in person, especially with that Peterson family backing you up. Yeah, I've known those guys since I was in junior high school, and uh, we're all we're dear friends. I see, of course, Tommy's on the Tonight Show band with me, and his brother Bobby and his cousin Billy are playing with me here. Although tonight, Joel uh, Sales is doing a fine job on bass. Billy's out with the Steve Miller band. That's right. He tours regularly with them, and also Ben Sidron. Yes. And i got to mention my friend Kenny Horst, who's, who I've known for over uh, 25 years. We used to play with Bobby Lyle together. He's holding down the drum chair and doing a great job. And it's always a pleasure to, to play with Kenny. Well, you know, at this time of the year, it's always uh, just a pleasure to uh, see uh, so many uh, of the musicians who have made a mark on both coasts uh, come back home for the holidays. And I know that Bobby Lyle is scheduled into the Dakotan uh, soon in the month of January, and to have you home at the same time, too, is just a, a great privilege for all of us who like to listen to the art of the trombone. Well, I know that I've, I've come through this town with a number of different bands, Buddy Rich and Ricky, from R Ricky Lee Jones, uh, all kinds of styles, and they've always wondered what it would be like, and after we leave Minneapolis, they always say hey, that's one of the best audiences I've ever played for. So the people here can be very pleased with their uh, knowledge of music and sophistication. I think it's uh, it's a great place to come and play, and I always look forward to it. It sounds a little uh, like I'm overdoing it, but that's the truth. Every artist I've worked here with has always commented on how good the audience is. Well, Bruce, you came out of, uh, do I understand, at Roosevelt High in Minneapolis and then went on to... Uh school on campus at the University of Minnesota, is that right? That's right. I played with uh, Frank Ben Prosciutto's band. I t did that Russian tour, which is still one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life, with the concert band, and then taught school at Roosevelt for a couple of years, and then went out on the road with the Glenn Miller band, with Buddy DeFranco and Buddy Rich's band, and then on to The Tonight Show, which has been for the last almost 20 years now. When it, uh, when it ends, it'll be 20 years for me on that band. 
20 years on the Tonight Show band. That really marks the end of an era because really, aside from um, the uh, American Public Radio Orchestra with Garrison Keillor, this is the biggest band in... And, and the Grand Old Opry has a fair entourage, but there's very little live music left. This is the last real big band with a full brass, you know, full horn section. Um, the last one on the air uh, full time. So we, we hate to see it go, but I guess the times change. And uh, hopefully um, some things will continue. But th this is kind of the end of an era, and, and a lot of people have been talking about it. I get asked everywhere I go, what's going to happen to the band? And uh, that will you ever forget uh, those lead uh, trumpets uh, like, uh, is it John Odino who did the... Uh, well, we lost him a few years ago, bless his heart, but uh, Snooky Young is still there, and Chuck Finley has uh, stepped into John's shoes, and of course he's one of the great trumpet players playing today. And of course Snooky Young with his tradition through Lunsford to Basie and uh, Eric, onwards. And Thad Jones, Snooky's... Uh, to my mind, the greatest lead trumpet player in the history of jazz, and uh, he's sitting right behind me, and it's always a pleasure to play with him. Can you describe for me, as you recall, the first time you sat in your chair and uh, listened to the sound of the band as you played your parts? And... Well, I expected it to be very uh, nerve-wracking and scary, and and the show uh, we we did the show. We I came in, sat in, you know, uh, we had rehearsed a couple tunes, but then the show started. I hadn't really rehearsed most of the music. I sight-read the music on the air, and uh, then the show was over, and I kind of was looking around. I said, well, well when does this, the tension start? When does it get nervous? And it never did. It was just uh, totally cool. The show was over, and I was still sitting kind of dumbfounded, wondering uh, when the real tension was going to hit. The whole thing was so smooth, and so everybody was so relaxed, and it's that's been uh, the way it's been all these years. It's a uh, it goes like clockwork. Um, so my first impression was, wow, this is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> well, you'd had all that, uh, all that street, plus your academic training. You had all of that street academy one night stand with, with the likes of the Glenn Miller Band, Buddy DeFranco, and of course, uh, you know, Buddy Rich. Uh, Buddy Rich was a great, uh, great school for for everybody. If uh, if you could keep up with him you were probably in pretty good shape. Uh, if you could survive Buddy Rich. Yeah, he was a tough taskmaster, but he was the, he was the greatest, and uh, it was a wonderful experience. I would have stayed with his band a lot longer had I not gotten called by Doc uh, to join the Tonight Show band. Well, I wish you just a, a lot of uh, good uh, uh, luck and uh, a lot of interesting uh, programs and uh, projects for the coming year. Thank you, Lay. I, uh, I'm looking forward to doing some of my own things and to coming back here to the Luxford to play and uh, getting out more with my own group. So uh, hopefully we'll get to talk again and we'll have some new topics to talk about. I sure appreciate your help through the years and uh, keep up the good work. you got a great show. I've been listening to it, seems like, all my life, and it's just a, a great staple for me to come back and hear that voice coming over the airwaves. Thank you, Bruce Paulson.